we're doing out here today and what we do every summer is sampling um, in our mussel bed here through Muncie. Muncie has a very large mussel bed, one of the largest in Indiana. And the way we sample is go through and randomly select different quadrats. A quadrat is basically um, a meter square outline like you see here. And in that quadrat, we remove everything for about 10 centimeters. And in doing that, we remove all of the muscles, we identify them, we get their heights, their lengths. Um, we make note if there's any sort of abnormalities about them. And then we re replace them in the place that we found them. The reason that we do surveillance on the mussels and clams is that they are a natural indicator of the water quality of the area. And this is mainly because they are natural filters of the waterway. Surveillance of the freshwater mussels is important because they are valuable to the aquatic system. They're valuable as bioindicators. We can look at the mussel populations and if there is a problem with the population, if suddenly there is a shift in numbers, then we can look at a possible cause then using chemical analysis and things like that to tell if there is something going on pollution-wise. They also are important because they are important in the food chain. Uh, muskrat, raccoons, river otter, um, mammals such as that eat the mussels, so therefore it's just part of the food chain and if they were to be gone, then those animals might have a problem as well. We also look at aquatic insects here at the Bureau of Water Quality. Aquatic insects are a key indicator of the water quality of the area. Basically, we look at the relative abundance, the diversity, the sensitivity to pollutants, and we use those in statistics that give us an overall view of what the water quality in that area is. Mussels became protected in 1991 here in Indiana. Some, some states do not have protection. Some states you can still remove them uh, for food, for, for anything. But here in Indiana in 1991, they decided that in order to get the numbers back to where they should be and the population's healthy again, that they needed to protect the mussel. This protection includes shells, live mussels, anything. You can't touch any mussels. We look at different sizes and species of mussels. They range from as small as a pinhead up to uh, our largest around here is about 10 to 12 inches. And the different species we have, about 12 different species that we find regularly. Since the Bureau of Water Quality started in the 1970s, um, back then the water quality was really bad. And basically, since then we've seen lots of improvements um, with the way that the water quality has been handled, as well as mussel populations, insect populations. We are seeing better numbers. We are seeing more species that are less tolerant to pollution and we're seeing more species in general. Freshwater mussels are one of the most endangered groups of animals here in North America. They're rigorously protected, and you are not even to touch, handle, move, not only the live mussels, but the shells as well.